Oh my god, that's bad. That's bad. I said that. You gotta cut that. What's up, I'm Ian Stonebrook with Boardroom. We're here with Cam Whitmore. Tell me about these customs that you wearing for the NBA draft. East Jersey represents a milestone, how I just accomplished my basketball career. Start off with the high school jersey, Spalding, it's my high school number. Going up to Villanova, that's where I played at college, same number 22. And then now we got the high school jerseys with the all-star games. Jordan Brand Classic, number 11, with my old high school number. Team Mellow, my AAU UIBL team. Then USA, number 13, won the gold medal for that uh, FIBA USA. Number 22, my final high school jersey, McDonald's All-American. I got uh, Godspeed on the tongue. Godspeed is when I got hurt. That's just a motto I live by always. The thunderstorms, the space, the galaxies. That's just something I'm really into. It's very comfortable, made from Italy, and it's one of ones from MC Kicks. Do you have any draft day suits or fashion moments that stick out as your favorites? I definitely am a little bit fashionable type of guy, but I would say the closest one is probably Jalen Green, where he had the Michael Jackson type of fit. So that was a different type of style I never really seen before, but something that's very close, similar to what I'm, I, I got covered. That silver sequence with yeah. the uh, little flare, that's gonna be tough to nah, top. For sure, but I can definitely top it though. This first summer, all focused on the draft, no school, no classes. Yeah. How'd you level it up? I mean, it was different. I mean, not being in school, normally people are in school um, during that time. So, I mean, being away from my family, my friends, and just education, a lot of free time, a lot of time, me taking care of my body, taking care of myself, my mental state of mind. So, I mean, just, I should be set for the NBA. Taking it day by day, just letting the time flow. Wherever I land, wherever team drafts me, I'm gonna be very excited to get ready to work for summer league. NIL is like the wild, wild west. What was it like for you coming up as an athlete in that space? Like, how'd you navigate it? It was definitely wild. Not really um, many expected it. Took that as an advantage. And I handled business on the court. So, I mean, taking that serious, taking NIL serious, and I mean, translated pretty well to uh, the NBA. Moving on to the NBA, anything you got your eyes on, things you got set? I would say rookie of the year is probably like the main, the main goal I have, trying to be one of the greats. Is there anybody that's really built a brand or career that you kind of see as the blueprint or model yourself after? I would say LeBron, just how he just carried himself on and off the floor. I mean, just him having generational type of wealth for his kids, for his kids' kids. I mean, I think he will probably be like someone I look up to for um, a long time from now. I'll say business goals, I'll probably have it's me probably going to the fashion business. What's gonna be that first big purchase once this NBA dream is realized? You gotta take care of the fam. That's really it. So, I mean, they took care of me all these years, all 18 years of my life. So, I mean, I gotta, I mean, I gotta get back always.